Today we're going to talk about Season 8, Episode 2, Sky Arts, Landscape Artist of the Year. Let's get started. First, I have a little Joe McKenzie complaining to do. Now, my complaint is that this was, this episode took place at Royal Ascot, and this building is enormous. You really you have to have a panorama camera setting in order to take in the whole building. And I would argue, I don't know that this is in the spirit of a landscape, but uh, I'm sure they have their reasons for doing it. Uh, the other thing that I didn't like is that every once in a while, horses would run through. Well, you know, you've been plain air painting. How are you going to do that? And the last thing I have to complain about is a complaint against me. I did the best I could. These are screenshots from the program, and I looked on the interwebs for lots of other pictures, but I couldn't find them. So I have to admit, some of these are slightly out of focus, and I really apologize for that. But we'll go ahead and get started anyway, because maybe this will be inspiring in terms of our own painting. Here's interest, the first entry. Uh, this is done with some sort of um, oil crayon, crayon pencil. And he added the horses from his own mind. And um, I really enjoyed the momentum of this painting. And I really enjoy the composition of this painting. And now we'll go on to number two. Number two is, uh, these are, um, except for the one I just showed you, they're, they're all oil or acrylic paintings. Um, again, the horses were added from imagination. This looks very similar to the day uh, that they showed from the program. So it's quite accurate. And I kind of enjoy this picture, although I still quibble with the setting. I don't see how this is landscape painting, but um, yeah, I'll try and let it go. Try and let it go. Next one. Oh, I really like this one. This was a large one too. Um, this show, this has a little bit more of kind of landscape feel for me. Now, one of the other things that I think is happening in this program is they are looking for people who could work in a large format because the actual prize is a $10,000 commission and that's a certain size. So, all the contestants are working in different sizes, but I suspect the uh, winner will be a large entry. This is the next entry. Again, horses were added later. And twice in this particular heat, people put horses with the heads cut off, which uh, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. I just find it kind of funny. I think it's hilarious. I really enjoyed this painting too uh, and really liked the uh, entry painting that this painter did because they only have four hours to create these paintings. Whereas when their entry paintings, some of them, I think one of the entry paintings uh, took her four weeks. Yeah, I think so. I'll tell you about that one when that one comes up. Anyway, I did enjoy this painting. It has a lot of energy, a lot of color. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Next one, um, this, this fellow is a professional artist and I think this was the first professional artist that we're seeing so far in this heat. And um, they were not overly enthusiastic about this painting, although his entry painting was absolutely fantastic, but they were not thrilled with this one. Um, I'm not sure what to say. You know, I, they're so hindered by the actual subject. So much horizontal going on. And um, I, I, when I have my chance, I'll, I will struggle, I'm sure. But uh, this was the entry number, what, one, two, three, four, five. There are eight uh, entries all together. The next entry, oh, I love this one. Again, the horse's head is cut off. <laughs> I, I don't know if I would have, have done that, but again, I, I just think it's humorous. Uh, it also works in terms of showing movement, but I really enjoy those three umbrellas and the view through the uh, structure into the, uh, into the spaces beyond. I think that's kind of brilliant. Uh, this is, I think this painting is a gem. I think they really like this painting too, but I'm not doing any spoilers. The last one, I, I said I wasn't going to do spoilers and I spoiled it. This time I will not do that. The next one up is somebody who had, who is a, uh, what do you call it, photorealist painter. And so they did spend, uh, I think she said four weeks on the painting that she put in the entry. And this is what she did in four hours. And I just don't think it's fair to compare someone who's a photorealist to a plein air painter. I mean, you can compare, but there's only so much that can be done. 
sure is accurate though boy her 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 drawing skills are spot on um and i really do like the composition a lot but she didn't really get a chance to finish or maybe she did you know what i actually don't know the next one is the most blurry of all of them but so is the painting i have to say um but i like the movement look at that all that blurred movement i really enjoy that uh, he was not my favorite. His, his entry piece was certainly not my favorite, but I really enjoyed this. I think he made the best of, of what they were given to do. So I'm not telling you who the winner of this heat is, uh, but you can watch the program and you can find out. I'm not allowed to put a link in the description. I don't know why, but uh, which is unfortunate. But you can Google and find this competition. And there is the picture that I'm going to be working from when I do my entry. So remember to keep white your paper white, your paint's wet, mass for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.